everybody, it's Tahira, and I'm so excited you're joining me today for day 25 of Advent Calendar Extravaganza. Day 25 means it's Christmas Day already, so Merry Christmas everybody! I hope you've been having fun at the event this year, we've really had a fantastic time. There have been 100 very special surprise guests hidden behind those doors, with over $800 worth of prizes to be won from 25 amazing companies that have sponsored this year. We've had a ton of fun and inspiration along the way as well. But if you're just discovering Advent Calendar Extravaganza, don't panic. You still have until the 31st of December to enter to win all those prizes. And there's full details on my blog for you to check out. Now let's focus on today's card. We're going to be creating some mass-producible Christmas cards, but ones that still make a real statement with a real impact. I've created this card in just a few simple steps thanks to the My Sweet Petunia Misty Stamping Tool, and I'm featuring some heat embossing as well. Now, My Sweet Petunia are today's sponsor for Advent Calendar Extravaganza, and they really are fantastic, so make sure you check them out. So let's get started. I'm going to be using some shimmer cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. This is the white shimmer, but it comes in other colours as well. And speaking of shimmer, check out my holiday nails! We're going to be doing some heat embossing, as I said. So we're going to start by preparing the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. This just deposits powder on the cardstock so that it prevents stray flecks of embossing powder sticking to your project. And now I'm going to bring out the Misty. This is the Mini Misty, and we're going to be using a couple of stamp sets today. The first one is by The Ton, and it's called Holiday Confetti. It has some great sentiments, but we're going to be using this Border Confetti stamp today to create our look. I've already got it into the Mini Misty, and I'm going to open my Mini Misty up. And you can see I've just marked on my grid paper some notches where the corners are going to nestle. Because this stamp goes right to the corners of the cardstock, I can't butt it right against the rulers. So I've put my cardstock in place and I'm going to be using some Versamark the clear sticky ink to just ink up my stamp. Just getting that all inked up for you. And I'm going to be closing the lid of the Misty and that's all we need to do to stamp this card. And I'm just going to move my fingers along it like I'm playing the piano. And that's just to make sure that all of those dots get good even pressure on them. Removing my magnet and I'm just going to flip my cardstock 180 degrees, place my magnet back on and I'm going to ink up my stamp again with Versamark ink and I'm going to be stamping that right into the other corner and because I can just rotate my cardstock and the stamp just stays right in place it makes this step really quick and easy. Playing the piano again must be in a musical mood and here we are. Now um, I'm just going to take my Misty and place it out of the way. Now we're going to be doing some heat embossing and we're going to use two colours so I'm going to be using this Wow Embossing Powder in Metallic Platinum Superfine and it's a fantastic colour. I'm going to place a piece of paper underneath my project so that I can catch any stray powder and I'm just going to tip the powder all over to get that onto the Versamark ink. I'm just going to rotate my cardstock around and cover that corner as well. I'm going to tap off any excess and if there are any stray flecks of embossing powder then I'm just going to use a very fine paintbrush to remove those and you can probably tell that I live in a cat household because some of these stray flecks are caused by cat hairs. Just going to get my powder out of the way while you ignore that fact. And I'm going to be using the next stamp now. This is from Mama Elephant and it is the Merry Christmas Wishes stamp set. I'm going to be using that gorgeous font um, statement sentiment. I've got this into my mini Misty now and I'm just going to place my cardstock right into the Misty, into the corners this time. Put some magnets in place to hold the cardstock and just a bit more powder just in case. And I'll take the Versamark ink out again and I'm going to ink my stamp up really carefully. I want to get a good coverage on this stamp because it's quite large, but thanks to the Misty, this is easy to get good coverage anyway when I stamp. Closing the lid of the Misty and playing the piano again. Lots of playing the piano. Piano, 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 and still more piano. <laughs> and we're finally done. Going to take the piece of cardstock out and take the Misty out of the way. We're done with that for now. And I'm going to be using a different colour of embossing powder now. So this is the metallic gold rich pale embossing powder from WOW. WOW really make the best embossing powders and you can probably tell this is my favourite gold because I have a very large tub of it. So I'm going to just flick off the excess and use my paintbrush again to get rid of the stray flecks. I hope Santa was good to you and brought you lots of presents this year. Uh, for me, I've been so busy making cards that my present to myself this year is just having a chance to put my feet up, have a nice meal and relax. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to this technique, so I'm always futzing with my paintbrush, flicking off the excess, 
And when I'm finally happy, I'll just get all of that embossing powder out of the way and I'll funnel that back into my tub later. The next step is to actually heat emboss that card and I've brought out my heat tool and I'm just going to heat it off camera until it's nice and hot and that means when I apply it to the cardstock that it will heat up the powder very quickly and that reduces the warping of the cardstock and also means that the powder melts really fast. So now my tool is good and hot, I'm starting by just heat embossing the dots first of all. So I'm rotating my cardstock panel around just until all of those dots are melted and once that corner is done I'm going to turn my card panel around and then heat up those other dots. Once all of those are melted I'm then going to move on to the sentiment and I just did it this way so that I could actually apply even heat to everything and then do the sentiment last of all. And this will heat up very quickly now because that tool is good and hot, in fact it was so hot that I had to drop the cardstock temporarily. All of my heat embossing is done and you can see that gorgeous metallic effect. So my card panel is all done and it's time to mount it to a card base. I've got a piece of cardstock which is eight and a half by five and a half inches and I'm just going to score it at four and a quarter inches so I can make an A2 size card. Now you can see me flipping the cardstock around and then just butting it up in my score buddy to be able to crease it and the reason I'm flipping it upside down and recreasing it is because I have OCD and I'm not joking. Um, I'm going to be using some score tape to just adhere my panel to my card front and you can see my Santa hat in the frame here. I was really in the Christmas spirit when I was filming this video. Um, that and I didn't want you to see that I still have a load of silver hairs and I need to go to the hairdresser. Um, silver hairs, wisdom hairs, whatever. Um, I'm going to be using some two inch score tape and I'm just applying that to my card panel um, twice. And because I am a perfectionist, I'm going to use a piece of a quarter inch score tape on the bottom of that as well, just so that I've completely covered the card front trimming off the excess with a pair of Teflon scissors and that card panel is ready to be mounted. I'm just going to peel off the adhesive backing and then just going to give you a quick tip for making sure that your card panels are nicely aligned with your card bases. Um, I put my card panel and card base in my score buddy and I just line them up, butt them up against the edges before I adhere it. And that panel is nicely adhered and there is a gorgeous Christmas card for you. Now you can see this is quick and easy to mass produce so I created it with some cream shimmer cardstock, black shimmer cardstock, gorgeous, love that one. And then I've got some red shimmer cardstock here and I did something a bit different with this one. I used an opaque vanilla white embossing powder for the dots and a green one I used opaque seafoam white embossing powder for that and another one of the white shimmer cards. And this makes a great card set which you can send out to people over the holidays or you could even give it away as a gift set. I'm going to leave you with some still shots of the cards, I really had a great time making these and I really hope you've enjoyed the video today, if you have please give it a thumbs up and please check out my blog for full details of advent calendar extravaganza and make sure you enter to win all those prizes. Thanks so much for joining me, I hope you have a very merry Christmas.